Yeah. 
worship you to worship your God? Is your what what on there? What on there? Is your pain? Is your story? Is your abdomen? Is you know what you're going through? The enemy doesn't like a worshiper. I need all the worshippers in this house to raise their hands to whatever. Because up to now, some of you don't know who you are in God. Up to now, some of you don't know who you are in God. Up to now, some of you don't know who you are in God.
going to hand over to the moderator. But listen to me. When you come to church, at church you come. I've been having coughing from days now. Carrying to church. But when I realize that you have a need back up, I don't come here for the pretty. I can't be coming here for worship. I can't be coming here for worship. I can't be coming here for worship. I'm a worship man. Even the Lord, come on. Every glory belongs to Him. Every glory belongs to Him. And you need me up. Hello, somebody. Mashi on the back of the Lord is on me because I 
because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. Hallelujah. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. The oil of joy instead of mourning and the garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. And you will be called a priest of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations. And in their riches you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will conceive, sorry, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land. And everlasting joy will be yours. For I, the Lord, love justice. And a robbery and wrongdoing. In my faithfulness, I will reward my people. And make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the people. All who see them will acknowledge that they are a people the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels, leaven and last and read together, hallelujah. For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and the garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before our nations, hallelujah. 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 I hear read a portion of God's holy word, his righteous word, his words that will never return unto him void. Hallelujah. And we bless his name by saying, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. We give you thanks, Abba Father. We now call on Sister Michelle to give us our first round of prayer. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together while she comes. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, you are worthy. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we worship you. We magnify your name, Jesus. Father, we place you in the highest place. Mighty God, we lift up your holy name, King Jesus. There is none before you and there will none be after you, mighty God. Father God, as I approach your throne of grace tonight, Jesus, saturate this presence with your presence and your anointing, mighty God. Mighty God, I lift up your name this after this tonight. Mighty God. Jesus. 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 Let's 
blessed be your holy name, King Jesus. Mighty God, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we honor your Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah, Jesus. As we lift up your name. Hallelujah. Father, Jesus. we give your glory tonight, Jesus. Yes, Abba, you Abba. are the everlasting Father. Jesus. You are the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. You are the sweet rose of Sharon tonight, mighty God. So tonight, mighty God, we look to you, Jesus. You are the author, the finisher of our faith. And so, mighty God, as we come into your presence, mighty God, we are seeing you know, God, that you dispatch your angels around this place. Father, we are seeing you know, that your Holy Spirit sits upon each of us tonight, mighty God. Father, God, we are seeing you tonight, Lord God, that your will be done. Mighty God, we put the service before you tonight, Jesus. We are seeing you know, that you will come down in this place, mighty God, like never before. Mighty God, we are seeing you know, God Almighty, that you will take a stand. Mighty God, let God arise and the enemies be scattered tonight, mighty God. Jesus, we ask you know, God Almighty, that you take full control. Father God, we place everything in your hands tonight, Jesus. Father God, we put the musicians before you. Mighty God, we put the worshipers before you. The ushers, mighty God, the intercessors, Jesus. Father God, I pray you know, God Almighty, that you will impart discernment among your people. Father God, I not even know, Jesus, that you may open their eyes, spiritually mighty God, to see, oh God, and to know, oh mighty God, your will and your way. Mighty God, just let your will be done tonight, Jesus. Father, we ask you, Lord oh God Almighty, that you crop and paralyze every plan of the enemy tonight, Jesus. Father, we declare the enemy powerless tonight, Jesus. Mighty God, our power belongs to you, Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we ask you, know, Lord Jesus, that your will be done in this service tonight, mighty God. Anoint your speaker, anoint your words, Almighty God. But grant us the safety words to receive your words. Mighty God, let us to do good to be doers of your words, mighty God. And not to hear your words from time to time and still remain the same. Mighty God, let there be a change in this ministry, Jesus. Mighty God, let there be a mighty God turn around, change in this ministry, Jesus. Father, just take full control tonight. As we look to you, as we tell you thanks for what you have done and all that you are about to do in our name, but in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We now call back our praise team. Hallelujah. Please just clap for us. She come. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty long way, Lord, mighty long way, a mighty long way, Lord, a mighty long way, a mighty long way, Lord, a mighty long way, look where you brought me from, a mighty long way, can I call you my mother? A mighty long way.
round of prayer. Please put your hands together while she comes. Hallelujah. Rooted and 
The man that is going to start your work in our favor for that night to Jesus. Our brothers and sisters, off the Facebook Live, I just want to greet you right now and tell you to ask you to stay in the Lord. Be in the Lord. Stay in the Lord. Have faith, doesn't matter what you're going through tonight. Mighty Jesus, you are dear. It doesn't matter the pain that you're feeling. I declare healing to your body right now. And I to you, Lord Jesus. Any financial death, any financial things that are not of the Lord tonight will be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, from the throne of your head to the soul of your feet. Every dark man situation in your life that is stagnant right now. Be loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, continue to spread your blood across this place, your fresh anointing, right now over this place, mighty God. The inner communities of Nagahead and all over Poop for mighty God. The 14 parishes of Jamaica tonight, mighty God. Let loose your angels over us, mighty God. God of David, right now, thank you, mighty God, for your or Goliath battle that will save us from daily, mighty God. We just want to give you a in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We give God thanks. Hallelujah. As we now call on. Hallelujah. Is there any testimony you would like to share tonight? Hallelujah. So we have one testimony coming on. Just please clap her as she comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so I think I have been more than this than my favorite guys. Because as you all know, I went for an interview on Friday and I got that job. However, I got a call today from UCC, um, I applied for their HR generalist. I know that I didn't meet the qualifications when I see it because I don't have any degree and what have you. However, they called me today and the lady said, if this is Alan and I said speaking, she said, you applied for a position on our website, but you didn't meet the qualifications for it. However, we are offering you another post that we have, which is data entry clerk. Would you be interested? So I said, yes, sure. So she said I was coming in tomorrow, 8 o'clock. So, I said I yes, I everything, but then I said, but oh, this is going to work out if I have to be child. It's not going to work. But I said, I'm going to go to tomorrow and see how it's going to work out. Because I'm going to start. When I'm going to interview you, I'm going to say, I'm going to 8 o'clock and just walk with my stuff to start tomorrow. And then I said, Hallelujah. Is there any, any more testimony? Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, today, in the midst of my trials, temptation, persecution. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I was offered a job. A job that I did not apply to anything at all. I just know that I was qualified for a job that I would <laughs> God. 
You know, for the past couple of years, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. And I was even hospitalized for it about two years ago. But I remember when I came to this church and I was there and yeah, had a young Sunday and I visited Preacher King. And I remember when she called me, she said, you and the purple come up here and I came to the altar and I prayed. I did not only pray about that high blood pressure, but I believe that God will heal me from that high blood pressure. And you know, I used to get appointment to go to the doctor every three months. And I keep going to the doctor, going to the doctor. But each time I go to the doctor, the blood pressure keep going down and going down. So I lost my mom here before last December. Then last year, April, my brother died and the pressure like fly up and I just start talk to God about it, you know, because I said, God, I'm going to take them pills, you know, because guess what? Pill come with side effect, and I'm going to hear a pastor say, sometimes we raise up altar with doctors, because we accept what doctor tell me. But I just have the belief, say, God can heal me from the high blood pressure. So I still keep going to the appointment, so they move from three months to six months. However, I went to the doctor last month. I get the tablets, but I'm not taking them. So I went there last month, and I was like saying to the doctor, you need to stop giving me appointment to come to the doctor because I don't have any high blood pressure. And the doctor said, still have to the pill, them, man, because you don't know when your pressure will go to iron. Maybe you have stroke, you said the blood of Jesus against that because me not take no more pill. She still give me the prescription. So I carry the prescription in the shop, so I can throw away some water now. Come here, say, God, I don't take them pills in, and I don't want no prescription. Then and there, the prescription blew down in the water, and I went up. I just tear it up and throw it in the rubbish pan. <laughs> because if you believe, say, God, heal you, I believe you have to lift your faith, and you have to believe it, and trust God, and live by faith, and know, say, you don't accept the sickness with the doctor here, because sickness no come from God. I mean, I sign the altar with no doctor, but no high blood pressure. So I know that the Lord has healed me from my high blood pressure. And I just want to give him thanks. And he has been doing so much in my life and in my kids' life. And I just want to keep on serving him. You know, I just, I just want to keep on loving this man, Jesus, because I really don't find any failure in him. So you just pray for my strength while I continue on this road with Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Good night again, everyone. I know that when I came on the lockdown, and last week Saturday I was around in the kitchen, but dealing with the communal thing. One of the church sister called me and I went to her. Sister Love Deacon and Slug and I went out there. Not expecting anything. But when I went out there and she said, Alright. And you know, when I came, I saw the seed in the morning. My father was my husband. I had a little bookshop with her, what he's running. I was just too much to see, you know. Not even a money to go buy back the water. But I said to myself, I said, hmm, I saw this. And here, I said, I saw it, because I didn't watch the face, but I saw it. So I'm not going to look away from my bank, go on and scrape around and go on, when I'm selling, buy and so it go. And last week, Saturday, I was in the kitchen, you know, the coming and thing. And one of the churches that called me and said, the Holy Spirit, she was praying and I just came up in front to her. And she said, I'm going to be in the Holy Spirit, leading the Holy Spirit, you know. And she said, I have something to give you. I said, okay. They said, Saturday gone. She called me. I sit right there and think her brother Jerome come and say, somebody outside from me to me. I want to find come pick me up. Guess when we go and she come to the van, two bags of grocery. <laughs> So I look here and you come and tell her fastly and she said, the faith will do that for God and God bless you. Tell her work, God. God will do that for God. God will do that for God. God will do that for God. But God is an untimely.
God. When you, when you leave, you expect him to show up. So I just want to give God thanks to see us. I will never, never, ever, 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 this is just the beginning. I fear and trust God because sometimes we have got to report it and we have got to report it. We can't bring it true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. And the church sister there, I bless you with everything. I tell her, I bless you. And I give her a double portion of a bless her. And you know that I can bless her. Yeah. 
that are at the midnight and are running with us. Some are living afar and they could not make it overseas and far in Manchester. So I could understand that, but I was led. You miss it. If you have, if you miss this, sit down. Those who stood with me all day, terrified. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ship. I was led by the Holy Spirit, I got, I got a revelation, and everybody know that I got some weird revelations. But I need the way you're sitting. No money, you don't have day. Apart from going to the hospital, you come back. So where you sit on? And I was led, the Holy Spirit told me to buy some mustard seed. I, never, I, couldn't, I couldn't understand. And he showed me the color that I should get. And I'm going to place it. You know, you all know how I do olive oil consecrated. I'm going to place it in the olive oil. Ah, God, Because what the Holy Spirit showed me, that, that, that running this race is all. It was all the people that had faith. That, that, that these people came out of the nothing. They had nothing but they had. They had faith like a mustard seed. Oh, I wish somebody come to Jesus. I was standing a while ago in the, in, the, in, the, in the restroom and I realized when I was on a rush past me, I got a wind to chew up. Can you imagine a poor body? Can you imagine, can I tell somebody, the young people who run me? And I just, I just want to give God thanks. Me a teacher to me, I said, God, she them a lot for it. It's just because the people don't understand what I was doing. But it's not many people that is in America. The ones that are in Manchester, I'm going to drive myself, find anybody that is going down, or I'm going to take the day off, drive and just drop it off to the persons that are far away. Not people that is living in Kingston, but those who are living in the far right. And I said, God, I'm going to. Jude didn't give me this just for that. So I'm going to send to some people. I think we only have like three people overseas that stood in the race. Did you check right? I think it's just three overseas. So it shouldn't take us a lot to ship. So I'm going to ship those. And I think the months and seed, they are here at the Kura. So I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. And I'm saying, God, I, I, I just. I can't imagine what you're about to do with that mustard seed in that animal. And, 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 and I started to do a research on mustard seed. Why would the Holy Spirit lead me to mustard seed? And I started to do, look at the benefit, prophetess, of mustard seed. And the benefit of mustard seed is that it has a lot of healing. Uh, come on, is it? Uh, come on. Uh, 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 let me say, God, you're not easy. Huh? So you have time to put the mustard seed in the olive oil. Oh, God of mercy. I'm just, I'm looking forward for what God is about to do in this season. Come on, somebody. Ah, come on, just raise your hand and give God worship. I want to thank you for running this with me. You have been faithful. You may be seated. So love it. It is love is second year running a clean one. <laughs> Baby Gabby, I salute you. School. I salute you. Javina, I salute you. Sister Yana, I salute you. And Donna has a new convert. Ray Tinsaya. Yes. You stop. You miss us. You're so honest. Come give me a hug. So we need the musicians, Shaman and Rezan. The race is not for the swift, but those who endure to the end. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. So while I was sitting here, I tell us, the back of the top of you know, children are not here. It's not easy. Look for first Samuel 25. Come here, Gabby. Come read for me. Me I tell us, I shouldn't be crying, but I'm smiling. The back of the turn up. You know? It, it's not easy. Big up yourself. My love, see you. Love you in the house of God. You say, you want some? I'm going to pay a nice wife for you, all right? Yes. Come on, leave him alone. It's my church, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We, we, we love God. Amen? Amen. Sister, if you want God country, so she can get the finish from the race with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get me tell me when you find it. Please go ahead. Now Samuel died, and all Israel assembled and mourned for him. And they buried him at his home in Ramah. Then David moved down into the desert of Paran. A certain man in Maon, who had property there at Carmel, was very wealthy. He had a thousand goats and three thousand. No, sorry, sorry. Go to 26 for me. I studied actually all of first Samuel to the UK. I was just reading, reading, reading all day. Yeah. Go again, please. The Ziphites went to Saul at Gibeah and said, Is it not David and hiding on the hill of Hakila, which faces Jeshimon? So Saul went down to the desert of Zip with his 3,000 select Israel troops to search there for David. Saul made his camp beside the road on the hill of Hakila, facing Jeshimon. But David said in the wilderness, when he saw that Saul had followed him there, he sent out scouts and learned that Saul had definitely arrived. And David set out and went to the place where Saul had camped. He saw where Saul and Abner, son of Ner, the commander of the army, had laid down. Saul was lying inside the camp with the army encamped around him. David then asked Ahimelech the Hittite, and Abishai, son of Zerai, Job's brother, who will go down into the camp with me to Saul? I'll go with you, said Abishai. So David and Abishai went to the army by night, and there was Saul, lying asleep inside the camp, with his spear stuck in the ground near his head. Abner and the soldiers were lying around him. Abishai said to David, Today God has delivered your enemy into your hands. Now let me pin him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I won't strike him twice. But David said to Abishai, Don't destroy him. Who can lay a hand on the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? As surely as the Lord lives, he said, The Lord himself will strike him, or his time will come and he will die or he will go into battle and perish. Just a minute. As we go into the word of God very quickly tonight, to stand this against us, carry must decrease while God that is over us increase. We will say of the Lord is our refuge and our strength, a present help in time of trouble. I will decree and declare that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I will decree and declare that he will anoint my head with oil in the presence of my enemies. Come on somebody. And I give God thanks. So when I started to study, the Holy Spirit said, I was listening to one of my preachers. And everybody knows that I'm, I, I got a thing for Africans because they are dedicated to the word of God. They are they, they're persistent and they are consistent. And uh, my mother always wonder if we go anywhere and to any street meetings uh, and uh, the rain or anything, if I don't turn up here, then they will say, well, we can't keep church from one hotel and say, the daughter that I have, she don't make no step from keeping church. 
So I think that I am full-blown African. So I watch Africa. I, I watch African preachers very regularly. And because of the type of ministry that God gives me. But what I realized with David is that the anointing that David had was unusual. It brings a lot of enemy to David. And this wasn't like from David was 30 and or 40. Years. The mark was on David from he was very young. Can I speak to somebody? Very young age, David knew that uh, he had a calling upon him. Uh, but this calling was a normal. David himself uh, did not understand, but he was obnoxious to know what is it. So David uh, was very curious as a young boy. Uh, and even before someone came and anointed him, if you realize that David was from the Babush, uh, because uh, that's where his father saw him fit to send him, uh, because he was a little terrorist in the family. Can I speak to somebody? So what I realize is that uh, Saul knew the glory that was up on David. Uh, can I speak to somebody? Uh, the enemy knows what you carry. The enemy knows what you carry. The enemy can identify. Uh, oh, you're not hear me. Your glory. Uh, he can also identify your future because. And when you are a true worshiper, the enemy knows if she continues to worship like that, that she will become who she wants to be. So what happened? Saul knew there was something about David. So Saul said, from David I helped him the first time to get the evil spirit out of him. He ate on David. And when the woman then started to sing, the Saul killed a thousand, but David killed a thousand. There, were, there was something, a spirit of jealousy come up in, uh, in Saul. So everywhere David go, Saul wanted to kill him. So I realized that David was a man of respect and honor. Because every time he could have killed Saul, he did not kill him. He said, oh, can I touch the Lord's anointed? Can I tell somebody what took David to get them to the throne? Was David was humble. Can I speak to somebody? When you remain humble, there is nothing can stop you because humility will bring you to the throne. Somebody, can I speak to you? Humility will bring you to the kings and the princes. Humility will break the yoke of the enemy. Humility will make your enemy fall asleep and you triumph over them. Humility will have you. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on. So listen up. Saul, I look for David. The devil had one mountain. Saul, I go so. If you come around to David, and David, I walk so come down. He was so close to David. He could have. He was so close to take on David. But same time, God allowed the Philistine to attack the Israelites. And when Saul heard of it, he had to take with himself. So David let release. The second time, no God said, all right, we make you come near to the servant. Because I want the servant to know. So man, hello. Your enemy can be right in the same place. And they can't be in the arm. Oh, come on, somebody. So I want to show you, David. Say, so yeah, now you walk to the valley of the shadow of death. You will fear no evil, because I am with you. So listen up. God bless you. All right, son. Since my brother is so near to 
the servant. I'm going to bring you close to the servant. So guess what now? David was in fire in our cage. And Saul come in our cage, come release himself. Right next to David to hear. Watch him know. And David cut his garment. And when Saul come out, David says, Saul. Ah, Saul says, I own up the son, David. David cut up on him me. I said, Saul, my king. I could have killed you. Because you won't kill me. But I can't touch the Lord's anointed. Come on, So, David. So, let me leave the man of God alone. Because God did not permit me to kill him. Never tell you something. Some people got no permit to be killed. And I know I talk I love somebody. I'm not no permit to touch them neither. Because if I'm not in a sense, I'm going Because that person needs to be there in your life. They tear you down. They cause room up on you. They take come on it. They spread out. Yeah, 
Jesus Christ of mercy. Lord God of mercy. Lord God of spirit that. Lord God. Listen, the enemy knows what you're carrying. The enemy knows what you're carrying. But I'm here to tell you tonight. I don't care who is on your truck. I don't care who is on your back. You're pressing. You're pressing. You're pressing. You're pressing. With all of that, Saul still a give up. Saul still won't kill him. They will end up in the Philistine with the enemy there. They will tell the enemy as well, I'll take another song. So I will serve you. I can't kill other people, but I can't kill Saul. I can't sue all the people, but I can't sue Son. So I have to run for my life. You know how you hear somebody. Somebody who they pay your money, you can't manage them. Come, God said, don't touch them. You know how you hear me? God said, my faith here. I know why you move on, muscle. So why you lunch?
Jesus and the sound spirit will walk with them in glory. He said, Die by fire. Die by fire. Somebody walk up your boat. Somebody walk up your boat. Somebody walk up your boat. Somebody walk up your boat.
Holy Spirit God. And hear me plead in heaven, Lord. Oh, weary heart, oppressed with sin, may I come in, may I come in. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a night. What a night. What a night. Every night, God works different. Every night, God does something different. Near 
and far to be a blessing to us. And I want to bless you tonight. I want to bless you. I want to bless you. I want to release something upon you. And I, I've been seeing a name, Shereen. Shereen, I want to release something on you, Shereen. I want to release a grace upon you and favor. I release grace and favor. You will get favor within three days. I decree and declare that barrenness that has been in your life, that non-job situation, that problem that is in your family, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I bless you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Love you. Shalom, shalom.